Just because the boss underpaid her by 1 yuan, the girl revealed her fangs and bit him to death. This is not the first time she has bitten someone. Just a few hours earlier, the girl faced workplace harassment from a colleague. She sat on the man. Then, Crazy bitch. such a shocking scene left another female colleague in shock. Fortunately, the girl didn't harm her. She let her go. But why is the girl so bloodthirsty? What exactly happened to her? A few days ago, a nuclear power plant in Florida experienced a leak. A large amount of unknown liquid flowed into the sea. When the staff arrived, a shark had already come into contact with the unknown liquid, but the government didn't publicize this matter, in order to conceal their mistake. The citizens were unaware of this matter. They were still having a great time at the beach. At this time, the girl Heidi also arrived at the beach. She is a well-known local influencer. In order to capture new footage, her boyfriend and photographer John took pictures of the surroundings. For the sake of video effect, for the sake of the shot, John asked his girlfriend to stay in the cold water and let her have more exposed skin. Heidi had no choice but to comply for fame. An accident soon followed. John, who was adjusting the camera, didn't notice anything unusual. He thought Heidi had gone back to be lazy, so he left. Fortunately, that night, Heidi was washed back to the shore by the waves. A couple taking a walk on the beach discovered her. One of them attempted to rescue her, while the other went to find help. But the revived Heidi lost her sanity and bit one of them to death. At this moment, the woman searching for help returned. She saw her husband pinned to the ground. The woman rushed forward to pull Heidi away. She looked at the large mouth in front of her. The woman was left in shock. Her husband urged her to run quickly. Ultimately, the woman was also bitten to death by Heidi. After being satiated, she regained her sanity. Heidi thought her boyfriend must be worried. She hurried back home. John didn't care whether she came home or not. He loudly criticized her for delaying the shooting schedule, but Heidi didn't kill him. Instead, she kept apologizing. At night, while sleeping, Heidi felt her boyfriend's neck was very tempting. She unconsciously leaned in closer. Her boyfriend was very alert. However, he didn't take it seriously. Heidi was interrupted and had to sleep. The next day, someone discovered the bodies on the beach. Reporter Mark arrived even faster than the police. There have been frequent shark attacks on humans lately. Mark believed that the government needs to take control of this matter. At this moment, Heidi suddenly appeared. He gazed at the beautiful girl before him. Mark couldn't take his eyes off her. Heidi asked what had happened here. Mark stated that a couple had tragically fallen victim to a shark last night. Hearing that they blamed the shark directly for it, Heidi felt an instant sense of relief. Then she found John to prepare for shooting new material. When she arrived, Heidi found her boyfriend taking pictures of someone else. They looked very intimate together. Though Heidi was unhappy, she loved her boyfriend and chose to endure it. However, they repeatedly challenged her limits. In the end, John even abandoned Heidi. Heidi could no longer tolerate it. Suddenly, the woman accidentally cut her foot. The smell of blood awakened the beast within Heidi. She suddenly revealed her fangs and bit at the woman. Blood gushed out. Seeing this scene, her boyfriend asked why the two of them didn't wait for him. He was just about to step forward and have a deep conversation with the two women. Suddenly, Hi, baby. the man instantly wet his pants. Immediately after, the girl pinned him against the wall. She flashed her sharp shark teeth at him. In the next second, <laughs> she grew shark teeth and bit both of them to death. Afterward, Heidi savored her boyfriend's blood. She called the agency and said she's quitting. Heidi demanded they settle her wages quickly, but they didn't take her seriously at all. They not only took away her account, but also didn't give her a penny. They also demanded that she pay a huge penalty for breach of contract. Heidi was determined to make them realize the cost of angering her. On the other side, the police arrived to investigate the bodies on the beach. Mark immediately led his team forward for live reporting. While examining the wounds, Mark discovered something strange. The bite marks on the bodies were clearly the work of a shark. But for some reason, this shark's mouth is so small that it's as big as a human's. Since Heidi had left her wallet on the beach, Mark followed the address in the wallet to her home. However, when Mark opened the door, he was mistaken for one of Heidi's fans. Her friend Casey warned him to leave quickly. After he quickly explained his purpose, he turned to leave. Seeing the misunderstanding, she hurried out to call Mark back. The two began discussing the shark attacks on humans. Casey is a scientist studying mutated organisms. Upon hearing Mark's account of the shark, she believed it should be related to the nuclear power plant leak. However, this matter wasn't made public. 
Mark became very excited upon hearing this. He asked Casey to help investigate the matter. Casey agreed. Then the two split up to take action. Casey was in charge of searching for clues at the nuclear power plant. When she arrived, she discovered that many fish had died nearby. Moreover, the fish were covered in a lot of unknown liquid. Casey took several photos and collected some samples. Then she returned to Heidi's house to start a party. While they were dancing, Heidi placed her mouth on Casey's neck. Suddenly, there was a strange noise from behind. Heidi turned around and retracted her fangs. Casey was puzzled. She comforted Heidi not to worry about work and then left. The next day, Heidi prepared to find a new job. She wanted to continue in her original profession. Heidi went to an agency to apply, but they assigned her a perverted photographer. This person made things difficult for her at every turn. He asked her to do some strange poses, but for her survival, Heidi could only endure. At this moment, her former agency learned that Heidi was looking for a new job. They called to demand a ban on her across the industry. Heidi learned of this and didn't dwell on it too much. She pinned the photographer down. You should shut the hell up. The assistant next to them was dumbfounded. However, she had not made things difficult for anyone, so Heidi let her go. On the other side, Mark found Casey to ask how the investigation was progressing. Casey stated that after testing, she discovered the unknown liquid leaked. From the nuclear power plant was a type of hormone. Biological exposure to this hormone may cause mutations. Even humans were not exempt from this fate. So that couple might have been killed by shark-human hybrids. The two were engaged in an intense conversation. Their relationship was becoming increasingly close, but Heidi overheard everything they just said. She felt a surge of panic inside. Heidi was very afraid they would uncover the truth. Just then, a colleague notified Mark that another person had tragically fallen victim to a shark attack. But strangely, both bodies were found dead at home. Although the bite marks on them indicated it was a shark. How could a shark have legs to come ashore and eat people? Mark felt that the situation was far more complicated than he had imagined. He immediately rushed to the scene to investigate. At this moment, Heidi arrived at her former agency. She planned to kill everyone who had bullied her. Heidi found the company boss. He had no idea that disaster was approaching him. The boss remained arrogant even after seeing Heidi. Heidi didn't want to waste words with him. She stabbed his hand with a pen. The boss let out a painful howl. He became the new prey. Afterward, Heidi was invited to a party at Casey's house. Casey's brother fell for her at first sight. Casey noticed something was wrong with her brother. Casey quickly found an excuse to send him away. She pleaded with Heidi not to harm her brother. She suggested that Heidi use her energy to confuse someone else. After all, Casey knew what kind of person her friend was. She didn't want her brother to suffer emotionally. Heidi was very angry after hearing her friend's words. She felt that Casey wasn't truly being friendly with her. To get revenge, Heidi found the brother alone. She conquered him in just a few words, just as the brother felt triumphant. Suddenly, <coughs> Heidi was happily eating. At this moment, Mark hurried over. He had finally uncovered the truth. The recent shark attacks were all committed by humans. After investigation, every crime scene had Heidi's fingerprints. There was even surveillance footage, clearly capturing her committing the acts. Then Mark asked Heidi where she went. Casey felt a breakdown upon hearing this. The two hurriedly searched around the house. When they arrived, they found that Heidi was almost full. Casey anxiously called for an ambulance, but the line was busy, and she couldn't get through. Just as she was about to step forward to help, she was stopped by Markla and left the scene. Afterward, Casey and Mark went to the dock to find someone. After searching around, they finally found a fisherman. With 30 years of experience catching sharks, he claimed that no shark could leave his side alive. Casey quickly explained Heidi's situation to him. The fisherman looked completely baffled. He had killed countless sharks, but he had never dealt with shark-human hybrids. Moreover, shark humans were incredibly powerful and had killed so many people. He wasn't confident he could catch Heidi, just as Casey and Mark didn't know what to do. The fisherman said that as long as they could get a blood sample from the shark human, he could create a cure to turn her back into a normal person, and touching the shark's nose could calm her down. Knowing Heidi's weakness, they felt more confident. They decided to take immediate action to turn Heidi back into a normal person. Soon, they arrived at Heidi's house. Casey held a slipper, leading the way. Heidi heard the noise and came out to confront them. At this moment, Mark and Casey worked together. They quickly knocked Heidi out. Afterward, they successfully took a blood sample. In the next second, Heidi suddenly woke up and ran outside. 
Instead, they took the sample to find the fisherman to create the antidote. However, when the two found the fisherman, they discovered that he had already been killed. Casey believed that Heidi had killed the fisherman. She grabbed a harpoon and prepared to fight Heidi to the death. That night, to draw Heidi out, they poured a large amount of blood outside the door. Heidi really did come over after smelling the scent. Casey maneuvered in the front, while Mark seized the opportunity to catch Heidi with a fishing net. But the two underestimated the power of the shark gene. In the chaos, Mark was bitten. Heidi broke free and stood up, kicking him unconscious. Fortunately, Casey reacted quickly and led Mark to escape. The next day, Casey woke up to find that Mark was missing. At this moment, Mark was walking down the street. He almost attacked a passerby, then he unexpectedly arrived at Heidi's house. However, Heidi didn't harm him. Instead, she warmly invited him to bed. At this moment, Heidi expressed her thoughts. Humans had been destroying the ocean environment, causing the living space of sharks to shrink. She now empathized with their plight. However, now was the perfect time for a counterattack. The shark humans were incredibly powerful. They could use this to enslave humanity and dominate the world. Having said that, she prepared to unite with Mark. At that critical moment, Casey rushed in, carrying a harpoon. <sighs> Thinking that Heidi was doomed, they were surprised when she charged towards them. Casey immediately grabbed a knife nearby to fight back, but to her astonishment, Heidi acted as if nothing was wrong. Suddenly, Mark woke up and launched a surprise attack from behind. Heidi, severely injured, managed to escape. She sat on the beach, holding her head and crying. Heidi couldn't understand how things had come to this. She walked into the ocean. Perhaps the sea was her true home. Just when they thought the story would end here. What was unexpected was that Mark was missing. Casey searched many places, but there was no sign of Mark. Three months later, FBI agents found Casey. They asked her if she recognized the man in the photo. Upon hearing this, Casey quickly took the photo. When she saw that the person in the photo was Mark, she was very excited. Upon closer inspection, she realized Mark's mouth was filled with shark teeth. It seemed he had also been infected and mutated. Meanwhile, a girl took off her sunglasses on the street. This person turned out to be the shark girl Heidi. Her wounds had long since healed. It seemed that her entry into the sea wasn't to find a home but to heal. Now she reappeared. Perhaps soon, she would unleash another bloody storm. On the other side, the agent invited Casey, hoping she could join in capturing the shark girl. The film concludes here. The film has a novel theme, even playing with the Spider-Man trope. Being bitten directly turns one into a shark human. Although the setup is cliché, it is indeed interesting. There are also beautiful women showcasing their figures. The level of gore is quite good. Using this method to call for ocean conservation, the male lead Nick Tiger delivers an excellent performance, especially the sense of helplessness after being infected, which evokes strong empathy. But for some reason, the sharks insist on a vampire-like feeding style, which feels somewhat discordant. Discovering that the female lead is a shark human, with solid evidence, they could easily take the evidence to the police for help. But the two girlfriends actually acted alone. In the end, they ended up infected. Shark humans kill by biting directly, while the fisherman was murdered. The film doesn't reveal who the real killer is. The ending seems to suggest there will be a sequel. If you enjoy my channel, please click to subscribe.